Stars Ms. and Maurice return April 2nd with their USA docuseries Ms. and Mrs. And they've got a lot to talk mm -hmm. about. Indeed, like their daughter Monroe Skye, who's turning one next week. Wow. Yeah. They're expecting a second child in September, and Ms. is a huge, you've got a huge match WrestleMania, huge. brother. Yeah. It's huge. It's a big deal coming up. Today, though, we have our own little WrestleMania Hi guys. situation Hi. going on. Oh, yeah. On. Okay, there's going to be some thumb wrestling, and I was just telling Maurice, I pulled my gel off, so go far back when nice. you shoot my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good to see you all. Go far back. It's nice to see you guys. We did, so you did uh, Real World New York. Real World I Back to New York. First road rolls. Mm hmm. Is this We're always the dream? We're old school. MTV alum. Is yes. this yeah. always the parlay plan for you? Uh, you know, I always wanted to be a WWE superstar ever since I was a kid. Ever since watching Ultimate Warrior, I used to paint my face, put streamers on my arm. Load the spaceship with the rocket fuel, Mom. <laughs> Mom would be like, go do your stuff. I'd be like, Mom, no, I'm the Ultimate Warrior. And she'd be like, go clean your room. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it was it's, it wasn't like a plan. I like I didn't go on the real world going, oh, I'm going to make this into a WWE superstar. I just kind of kind of just fell through and once I got on the real world it made me realize I could do anything I wanted with my life. Mm -hmm. I didn't just have to go, you know, from high school to college, college back to Cleveland, then get a job, get a family and that's what you do. I literally said I can do anything I want to do if I put my mind to it. And so I worked hard, I sacrificed and well, you here I am today as a WWE superstar. Not only that, I'm executive producer and star of my own show. Exactly. You know, I, I took the real world and I said, I'll use all my knowledge on there, and then we'll go and do our own thing. I like that. Well, you called yourself the Miz in the real world, ho yeah. real world house. That just came out of the flight. It was very organic, and uh, it was one of those things I wasn't comfortable in the real world house. When you're put in a New York City, and I'm from Parma, Ohio, and with a bunch of strangers, it was weird for me. And so my way of coping with that was to unleash it with the Miz. Mm. And the Miz kind of was the person that kind of uh, told it like it was. And, and didn't take anything from anybody. And people started respecting The Miz more than they did Mike and started liking <laughs> Miz than they did Mike. So it was, it was very interesting. Did Kate, you like your... Miz before Mike? Oh, she... I've never seen the real world. She will I've not watch it. I've, I mean, I saw a tiny part that you showed me. I have okay. every, by the way, I'm about to age myself, every VHS tape <laughs> of, of the real world. And I said, do you want to watch any of the real world, any of the challenges that I was on on MTV? She goes, nope. Nope. And I go, are you sure? I saw a tiny bit, and I was okay. I'm I good. showed her the worst one because then I was like, <laughs> look right here. This is the first yes. time she's probably seeing anything from. <laughs> I'm forgetting about your season. Oh, Miz is just insane. <laughs> It's pretty, true. Pretty it's much true. sums it up. I annoyed my yes. roommates so much on that show. What was your first impression of him when you guys met? Um, How good looking they, I was? You know, you could pronounce my name right, and I remember we were fighting over. No uh, one can pronounce your name right. <laughs> Did we botch it? What? Let, let's put it this way: It's Maurice. Maurice. And I would be like Maurice. It's M A R Y S E. Maurice. Maurice. <laughs> I, I thought you were doing it on purpose so you could talk to me. It, that's just, yeah. That was one thing. It that's worked. Game. It worked, people. <laughs> Will you get back in the ring? As a superstar? Oh my goodness, we'll see. I mean, I'm pregnant with my second one. So Number two. I mean, wait, right now? We work yes. fast. We work fast <laughs> in this household. At 37, I had zero kids. At 38, I'll have two. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And I came back to the ring uh, four months after having Monroe. Oh, that's too soon. It is. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Way too soon. I don't know what happened. I don't know how I did it. It's she just... has amazing genetics and literally whipped herself into shape. And she was main eventing uh, SmackDown Live with another mom, Brie Bella, in a match, singles match, Maurice versus Brie Bella. And it, four months out. Four months. Four months yeah. out. And, and Brie was a year and a half. And they were both going at it, had an incredible match. And then we had a match together at Hell in a Cell where she dominated and won. I love that. <laughs> will you guys do a gender reveal or will you keep it a oh, secret? Yeah, or like? To. You guys are going to learn. You want to know? Yeah. I really want to know. I, I, I don't understand how people can just wait. She doesn't like surprises. I like to be surprised. I think it would be pretty cool, but she wins all the arguments. No, I'm, so. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> she said, yeah. Yes. yes, I'm she growing it. Yes. It's going to be my turn. I'm, yeah. I'm doing it. I'm making the decision.